sports fans, it's your man D back speaking my sports talk. All right, check it out, man. Right a long time, right along, and man, they coming to get the garbage, they blocked in the street. I gotta turn around. Anyway, this is what I want to talk about. My boy Teofimo Lopez. That's right. Teofimo Lopez was showing off the moves, baby. That fancy footwork. And, of course, you're going to have some naysayers because people are going to take the wrong perspective on this, of course. They're going to look at Teofimo showing the moves and doing this thing, and immediately they're going to start comparing him to the guy that he's fighting, which, in this case, Vasil Lomachenko, we can safely say probably has the best footwork in the game. So what you don't do is compare a young kid to that footwork. Let's look at Teofimo's footwork and what he brings to the table. See, here's the thing. What Teofimo showed in his matrix is he showed a very strong pivot. Let's see, a lot of people don't watch what's going on in that ring. If you watch the pivots that uh, Teofimo displayed there, very strong pivots, very good pivots. If you watch his footwork and how he was moving when he turned, he would the, the way he transitioned his weight, see, you get in a position to throw a punch and come off of that right foot. Did these things excellently. So you have to watch his footwork. I compare it to Lomachenko. And I say, oh, this is why T.O. Finn was gonna beat Lomachenko and then start to overhype the situation and go over the handle. Not to look at his footwork and then compare it to Loma Chico and say, oh, it's trash. Ah, that kid, he better have better than that if he plan on beating Loma Chico. No, don't be an idiot either way. It's not about the footwork is going to get him over the hump, and it's not something to overhype or to disrespect. The thing with this footwork, coupled with all the other dangers he brings to the table. The fact that people didn't even know that he had footwork. You know, there were some idiots out there talking about he was flat-footed. Teofimo's flat-footed. You know, guys calling him a high job. I'm not really impressed with his boxing. So pay attention to what he just showed you there. He showed you extreme footwork. He showed you his matrix. And his matrix, my man, Teofimo Lopez, the matrix that he showed you, people, that's enough of a matrix to get the job done. Because when you couple his footwork with the other dangers that he brings to the table, with the fact that Lomachenko's not been hit anywhere near as hard as he's going to be hit by this young Teofimo Lopez, uh, not to mention that Teofimo's hand speed is going to give Lomachenko uh, plenty of trouble. You know, when you throw this footwork in there, this kid that was supposed to be flat-footed and green and not have the skills that you guys thought he had, when you throw these things in there, this is what makes this fight so much more dangerous for Lomachenko. This is what makes this fight uh, Teofimo Lopez showcase a fight that can propel him into greatness that matrix that my man showed there that footwork is a footwork of why i'm telling you guys tio fimo to take over lopez is gonna knock lomachenko out for the love of sports let's talk about it peace